Welcome to my MailChimp landing page tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to very quickly craft a landing page with MailChimp so that you can promote pretty much anything you want. And I'll give you some tips so that you can keep it simple and get up and running even faster. Feel free to follow along with me and let's begin. So in the beginning, when you're on the main dashboard, you're just going to simply go to the create section. And of course, from here, what you want to do is do build landing page. So first, let's give it a name. So I'm just calling this a review landing page. So I like doing videos and video reviews, as you can tell. So what I like doing is embedding those on my landing page. It means ultimately less work when you do that. I'll talk about that more as we go, but create a name for it as you like and click on begin. All right, so you have a few templates here. There's gonna be mostly for like lead generation. There's gonna be three or four here. And then we have promoting products and of course, uh, growing a list. I'm gonna go with the basic one here because one, I love basic and simple. This is gonna be for promoting any type of product. So whether it's yours or someone else's, this is gonna be great for that. And I'm gonna kind of walk you through what I use for my template. So regardless of what landing page you're gonna be creating, what builder, what software, what tool, you can use this as well. Obviously it just happens to be with MailChimp here. I'm gonna click on that one. All right, and I'm, I must say, I've used a lot of landing page builders in my time. This one might be the most basic, definitely. So logo, we can probably scroll down and move this down to the bottom area, okay? First, there are gonna be a few things that, oops, I forgot to actually drop it there. So let's go back down. When you do, you have to go in the drop box here. There we go. Perfect. So there's gonna be like a section with here with a quote. You know, I'm gonna get rid of that. Let's do delete. There's going to be add products from your store. This isn't going to be an e-commerce thing, so I'm going to remove that. We also have this little section. I'm going to remove that. So a lot of the stuff we're just removing here. If you did want to keep these, feel free to, but I'm going to make it as lean and as mean as possible. So this is really all we're going to be doing here. We're going to have a video, and of course, we're going to have a button. So I kept this logo here in case you want to add yours. What I'm going to do is go to replace. And I already have mine here, so I'm going to click on that and do insert. Okay, you can use that, you can not use that. It's really gonna be up to you, but in case you wanted to, that's where it's gonna go. Let's also make it a little bit smaller. I don't think it needs to be as big, not a big deal. Okay, perfect. So this is gonna be our headline. What we also wanna have here is, let's go back, let's go to save and close. So here is where we get to pick what we wanna drop in. So for this, I'm gonna be using a video. It's gonna be going underneath the headline here. We can also even do this if we want. So I have my video URL, I'm just gonna paste it in there from YouTube. So they currently support YouTube and Vimeo. So if you have one of those options, feel free to pop that in. There's gonna be my video itself. We have style here. So width, you don't have to make it as huge. Like right now, I think it looks pretty big. I'd probably make that a little bit smaller. It's almost like too big. So I'd say like 70 or 60 looks pretty good. Uh, if we want a border here, you know, this is really getting into like the OCD type of stuff, but <laughs> I'm just gonna go with none. And let's see, I think that looks good. There's some other settings and you can enable that on the content tab. So that looks fine. And of course, there's gonna be something else we're gonna want here, which is going to be a button. And here it is. So I'm gonna hold this and I'm gonna go down. We're gonna add it right here. Okay, so given the fact this is a review, the idea here is obviously like to watch the video. And of course, if someone's interested, they can click on the button to say, get a free trial. So what I like doing is adding a call to action. Click here to try SEMrush for free, okay? All right, so this is gonna be going to a web address here. You can do a few others if you want. Then of course, let's add in our URL. All right, there's also gonna be some advanced options that I recommend you look into, especially when it comes to opening it in a new window. I recommend doing this because if someone's watching and you don't open it in a new window, that means all of this is gonna stop and they're gonna to go to that same page on this one and the video is gonna stop. So if they wanted to go back, they could hit back, go back to where they were. A lot of times they're just gonna say like, nah, I don't feel like doing that and they can X out. So it at least gives them the chance to stay on your page while this opens up in a new tab or window. So that's what I recommend there. We have style as well. Like if you wanna do rounded corners, then we could probably change around the color as well. This is Marketing Island, so I think green looks pretty good, okay? <clears throat> Aside from that, we can keep that, so save and close. All right, so now we are at the top here. What we can do is click there a couple times. So let's say I was like elsewhere. So I'd click here once and you're gonna notice it appears right here. So any type of headline could be a question, whatever it's going to be related to what you have going on down below on your landing page. So is SEMrush the best SEO tool? And this can be a little bit extra. So if we click here, 
just a little call to action, you know, watch, click play to watch the video below. All right, so click play to watch the video below and find out. I like making it italicized, just a, a funky little thing I like doing. And aside from that, we can also make this a little bit smaller. You notice how big that is there overall? And this as well. There we go. So, and just like that, we have a extremely simple landing page, okay? So I wanna kinda of talk about the whole psychology, the reason why I like landing pages like this. So let me actually, before I get into that, let's save and close. And what I'm gonna do is actually just save it so you can see what it looks like outside of the preview. Okay, so we have our title and icon in case you wanted to edit that, a social media preview where you can preview it. Let's say we wanted to edit the URL. I'm just gonna call it SEMrush, given the fact that's what we're talking about or promoting in this specific one. Obviously, make sure you use a URL that's gonna be related to what you're talking about. Uh, settings and tracking, in case you wanted to do any of that stuff, you can edit it, but this is gonna be the basics for this. We did our design. I think the rest of that's gonna be fine, and let's click on Publish. All right, great, so let's share our page, or at least click on it so you can check out what it looks like. All right, so when it comes to the psychology or just the overall reasoning why I would use a landing page that's as simple as this, first and foremost, you might be asking, well, James, why don't I just, or why don't you just send it straight to YouTube? And you can do that. But if you've ever been on YouTube before, like you <laughs> might be right now, right? The fact of the matter is that there are so many distractions for you specifically. YouTube knows you very well, probably better than you know yourself, especially when it comes to video recommendations. That's how they get people to stay on as long as possible. That's their main goal. So when you're watching a video on YouTube, on the right there's going to be suggested videos. You might have notifications. On the bottom there's going to be comments that are going to be distracting you. Don't forget about the home feed. Maybe you have multiple other videos up waiting to play them. Autoplay could be on, so you have another video waiting for you right after that one. There's just so many distractions. And by taking them off YouTube and just having a video embedded there, you're not going to have to worry about all those distractions. So that's one of the biggest reasons why. Another reason I like using this is because they're so simple. When you create a landing page like this, you can pretty much save it as a template or just simply use it over and over. For example, if I was to duplicate this one, what I would do is change around the headline, you know, change around a little bit more. This can also be a benefit as well, or like something like, you know, make sure you don't miss at five minutes and 33 seconds where I go into one of the best features of this tool. This is something that's going to allow them to either entice them, give a benefit, or a call to action when it comes to watching the video. Okay. Aside from watching the video, there's only one other thing to do, and it's clicking on the button where they can get their free trial. Okay. So that's the biggest benefit of a landing page, especially when you compare it to a website. Websites have so many distractions. YouTube.com itself has so many distractions. You're removing all of that. So the only two things they can do here is either watch your video or click on the button, or they can leave, which is you know, that's always going to be an option. Logo is down here if you want it. And this is just going to be extra text. I kept that there. That's a good spot for, say, like a privacy policy, maybe a contact, maybe terms. Maybe someone has a question. Obviously, that's easy to edit, but that's why I just kept that down there to keep it as simple as possible. But that's going to be my pretty quick MailChimp landing page tutorial. I hope that helped you out when it comes to creating super simple landing pages. This is what I like doing. Like I said, once you get in a flow of this, you can just keep copying and pasting them or just duplicating the same type of landing page, change out the video the headline, the button, the link, and you're going to be good to go. If you have any questions about creating a landing page with MailChimp, I know there's other options and like ways to create them when it comes to lead generation or changing around a few more things so that you can utilize their bells and whistles. If you have any questions about that, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you. Or maybe someone else can always chime in as well, given the fact that my comments have been building up a lot lately, so it's hard to get back to all of them. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching either way, and I will see you in my next video.